Alright. How many of us really go within? Most of us put our energy on the outside of us. All day, every day. A lot of us fall in love with our physical physiques. We want attention. We want to be acknowledged. So many of us post certain pictures or images on social media not knowing that you are not the body that shit is not yours you just renting it it belongs to mother earth so this is a world of illusion and this world was taught to us by our ancient ancestors as that what i just mentioned a world of illusion so if the kingdom is within you then you are an interdimensional being. So in so many words, the physical, everything that you see in the physical world are barriers. It is a barrier. It's like walls that need to be knocked down. Because if the kingdom is within you, that means that what you see on the outside is an illusion. It's not real. And if you know what an illusion is, an illusion is that which appears, but it soon fades away. That's an illusion. The only thing that is real is that which never changes. Okay? So we know that the physical body it ages, it deteriorates. Unless you know some ancient ascended master type shit. Okay? As far as like starting a microcosmic orbit, making a pituitary gland, fl flicker and release this crystals anointing oil, which is actually cosmic semen, by the way. And then the pineal gland secretes this oily liquid, considered as the telea, which generates, or uh, which actually renews their whole entire physical body. Unless you know how to do shit like that, then you are continuously going to go along with the cycle of aging and deterioration. This is the world of illusion. This is why you go within it. This is why that process, which I just uh, mentioned, by the ancient people, as far as like starting a microcosmic orbit, it is, it is an inward process. Okay, so you can make this physical realm into a kingdom by doing that, by going within, by actually raising your vibration to the point you become an ascended master where you can materialize and dematerialize and also materialize um, objects out of the ethers or the astral plane and you can you can literally make that manifest on the physical by lowering the vibration from the astral shit sound far fetched now it's not it's real so when you look up people like Simeon Toko I love to mention Simeon Toko cause he's a actual real live person not some shit smarter than made up but he's an actual person you can uh, research with documents that they have on him. So like like I said in, in my video, the source field investigation, there's a chapter, a part in the book, a small part, that talks about the Black Jesus, or the Black Jesus Project. Where the CIA was trying to kill his man because he had these supernatural abilities that would have shut down billion dollar industries, okay? So, him being a threat and people like that being threats become a threat to their power. So concentrate within. So take all your energy and put it within you and put it around you. Surround it around your aura. This can also cause your Merkaba to ignite. Now I experienced a Merkaba. Um, a couple times the activation of it but because it caught me off guard it, it'll catch you off guard and it'll it'll kind of send a fright to you when you send a fright to you you'll, if you jerk and you move you'll break that vibration that strong vibratory pitch it'll break and the shit is so overwhelming the power from the Merkaba is so overwhelming that it feels like a strong electrical current over your body and the physical body cannot it cannot take it unless you totally surrender to it 
it's a strong it, it feel like electricity at its highest voltage so i mean i took it for about 10 seconds the other night and shit then i eased up and i submitted to it i did it three times i ignited it three times the uh the second time it wasn't as, as strong as the first time it was. And the fourth time it was it was like a sm uh, a shimmer of a vibration, and you can literally hear this mercury. You can hear it. It sounds like it's drawing closer and closer to you. It sounds like a that's what shit sound like to me. So, and it gets louder and louder as you tune into its frequency. And the body begins to, you can feel it coming all over your body, like just submerging all over your body. This, this current, this current of an electro vibrational magnetic static wave feeling. So, that's just from my personal experience. I don't know what degrees of other people igniting that merkable, merkable. Has caused them as far as the vibration, but I, I experienced it at a strong rate. And it caught me off guard. That's why I, bro I kind of, I, I should have embraced it, but I didn't expect it to happen that way. But anyway, put your energy on the inside of you. Don't put nothing on on the outside of you. This is an illusion. This physical realm. This is why you don't own your children. You don't own shit. Because you do not own the souls of these children that are yours. Okay? You are just here. Really, you're in trap. You're in prison. Because your light body is trapped. Okay? In this physical prison house. It's stored in these DNA code arms. It's trapped in the DNA. Alright? You are light beings. All those photonic particles are fragments of who you are. All right, but the the core, the essence of who you are, is in the Kundalini. Those electronic electrons, electronic lights. I don't mean like no supermarket electrons. I mean like electrons, electronic lights. Okay, that that's you at your core being, along with the pineal gland. Okay, that is the seat of that solar flare okay without the, th there would be no universe without that electrical current they can't not exist without each other this is the yin and the yang but until then y'all go with me. Yeah. let me say this before i get out here when you go within this causes interdimensional travel Okay. Oh, thank y'all. Meditate using your imagination. Imagination is the most powerful thing we have, believe it or not. You can't even fall in love with a person until you can see yourself by imagining yourself with that person first. The imagination is the first substance of everything. Imagination. Use your imagination by meditating. Combine the two, concentration, imagination, willpower through your heart chakra and contain all your energy within yourself and surround yourself with a beam of light. Bathe in the light, okay? And breathe through your spinal, spinal tube. This is how you Start to unlock that God and start to activate that Merkaba. But until then, peace.